Hello everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I wanted to introduce you to Mikey, Michael Halawani, who is based in WA and he is an inspiration for this piece that you're going to see me create. He's a friend of mine, I used to work with him. He's such an amazing aerial photographer. Now I've got on board um, on here his website page, his Facebook page and also his his Instagram page so please do pop over and check out his amazing work this is the inspiration for this piece he managed to capture this pod of whales uh, along the coastline of WA and captured that real turquoise color a sense of calmness in the ocean and this is what I've been inspired to do to really push myself with this resin piece and see if I can keep a fairly simple piece and layer up my whales and make them all individual and have a personality. Also pay my respects to Michael who's auto inspired me for this piece. At this stage I'm just working with the colours that I tend to use for my oceans that I connect to as the Indian Ocean with a very clear see-through blue and aqua feeling. So I'm currently using Peebo turquoise, blue green and green blue. And I'm also using colour around it, cerulean blue. And all the way through this piece, I work with those colours and a black acrylic. And I slowly work my way up using different strengths in colour until eventually at the top it is just almost so transparent. I hope you enjoy this journey. There is four layers of resin, so if you do want to skip through to the stages, I put a little heading in there. If you do want to see the full creative process, I really do appreciate that. So I want to take this time to thank you for all your ongoing support. It's been a challenging time for the weeks in the studio, but I reset everything and I've got my flow back. And what an amazing piece. To one that you are incredibly proud of yourself. It's, by no means is it perfect. I think you all know you go in with resin with one intention and you do something else and sometimes it's better than what you thought it would be and for me if you are representing somebody else's work whether it be from photo a photo you're not trying to mirror image that you're trying to put your own spin and feeling on that and I think if you stay true to yourself as an artist if you try stay true to yourself about the feeling you're trying to create and that's when you're going to produce your best works so lots of learns along the way here I absolutely love this piece and I already know how I can take this to the next level when I read, uh, when I attempt this again. I hope you enjoy it and I would love for your support if you enjoy this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, share and comments are always welcome. And I'd love to know what you feel about this piece. At this point I am mixing up my resin and I just work with 150 mils of resin for each layer. You're probably slightly under what you could have worked with but I wanted to make sure that the layers were not going to be too big and dilute what it is that I'm trying to be doing. And I'm also trying to ensure that I'm not going to overwork it but I know that if I want to bring the depth that I want I need to ensure that my baby, it's a cute little baby whale, is starting to be more submerged because I wanted him to represent like he was deeper down and the mum and dad were at the side of him um, and it will go uh, baby one lower down, mum middle and dad high. I wanted to try and see if I could replicate their tails uh, uh, splashing into the water. 
thickness. So for me, I'm just trying to work out as I go through this process, what is the thickness in colour? And how can I make sure that I bring the baby whale up onto um, the next layer of resin? It's a fairly quick process just working with those colours and I think that's what was enjoyable about this piece. Um, the hard work comes from just layering and bringing your whale up. The rest of it is easy because you're just working with those four colours. So yeah, it was a fun, relaxing, enjoyable process. And this was the last time I worked in my studio with this layout. And once I get it back to how it used to be and I can stand up and walk around, I find that for me, I produce a lot better results. And I find that for me, it's a more enjoyable experience. Yay, I'm up and I am enjoying this process. At this point, I am super happy with the first layer of resin. I can see that um, I'm getting the movement and the feeling that I'm happy with. And I am just starting to bring the whales up onto the next layer. So I'm considering to myself what parts should be raised, what parts should I just leave, specifically around the baby, because I know that mum and dad, I'm going to be bringing those up. So for me, I was concentrating on bringing his hump uh, and where his fin would be, but keeping the rest of him deep. But I'm also considering, have I put too much colour over him to start with? So he's going to be invisible by his at the top, so it was just that fine balance. And you'll see that I'm referencing some whales. And for me, what I'm trying to understand is, what would be any distinguishing features that they would see at this stage to help either people to understand it's a whale, not a dolphin, but also uh, help me give you more of a 3D effect. So you can see how you apply the white and the black, and that's just keep applying, remove it until I'm happy that when I'm stood on top of it or to the side of it, it looks like they've got that white part of what you normally see in an orc whale um, coming up and over. So it's trial and error until you're happy, but. Um, overall, very happy with what I was doing, but just questioning myself, have I done enough with the baby? And be mindful to protect that as I apply the next coat in resin. And what that would mean is I'd probably try and protect that more with the clear and bring that over. And I'm also taking into consideration the amount of white that I'm applying. So Michael's piece, it's a very still ocean, but you can still see the glimmer. But I wanted to create more of a feeling of that ocean movement not detract from that whale and keep the colour and the whale's the hero of the artwork and what I found when applying my next layer is it covered the white I really enjoyed that because to me that showed it was like the sun reflecting through the water and showed you that movement so I felt like I was getting a balance and just really enjoyed the process hence why I don't really speak much in the videos other than what I'm doing now to speak over and and let you into my thought process at this stage. And the great thing is when you're doing multiple layers, you don't have to worry too much about the dust at this stage. Although I am constantly trying to fight that battle. It's uh, something that me personally, I struggle to get one perfect piece without one tiny bit of dust in there. And uh, all you can do is keep working at it, keep trying to work smart, uh, but enjoy it.
So layer three is all about protecting the baby. I'm very happy with him for bringing mama and dad up. So mum is the one that I'm going to be working with, not bringing up too far, but just starting to bring her into 3D and bring her center part forward and just contemplating, do I do the tail or not? So I'll just wait in until the end of this one and see where it, where it gets to. So I've also noticed when watching my videos back and seeing that I'm really in the creative space, I pull some very strange faces. And one can think that that's when I'm just holding my breath or thinking or just really gazing at my art. So for an interesting observation about myself. Anyway, nothing much different in this layer. Pretty much the same as the other one. But this time my colours are going more transparent. And I am trying to just concentrate on the balance of the amount of waves and where the oceans, um, should I say, well, the oceans all around the world, protecting the baby, protecting the volume of waves that are in there, hoping that the 3D part is coming through and that from any angle you're looking at, you can still enjoy this piece. Again, I'm still loving being back on my feet and being able to move around and I've got my candles burning, hot for you, burn some candles, have some orange scent around you while you're working, apparently that opens your creativity and it's all about whatever's going to give you that zen and help you drift off into that piece of work. Yeah, so anyway, that's one of my hot tips. Thank you. 
I'm on to my final layer and I'm super excited by this but also getting a little bit sad because I've enjoyed this project but you have to know when to stop. So very happy with the baby. With the mum I did decide that her body looks really great but I wanted to bring her tail up so we didn't lose too much of her tail because in my head we just splash down and she's diving down to meet her little baby and that is literally just coming down after her so I raised her tail and I raised her fin and I brought brought, boop, brought <laughs> all the dad back to the top um, when I say all the centerpiece where his fin is just around him just to make him look like he has got that risen body that sounds really bad but laid him up not everywhere but just around the center part again just to make him look like he's got the depth and the 3d-ness of him i again i'm loving this i did apply a little bit more of the colors to try and dilute a little bit of that white the detail for me was trying to contain the white around the tail of the male and the female mommy and daddy and also around the daddy's fins because I wanted to look like he's the big one with all the power and he is just going down into the ocean and swimming. So really, really, I believe, happy with this piece. A really, really happy outcome and super proud that Michael let me um, use his photography as inspiration and hopefully he feels that I've done it justice and have captured the essence of what he would have been seeing live when he was capturing that on his drone. And there's nothing really much more to say for me. It was really just about the eye for detail on the final layer, ensuring that I'm happy that it has touched all the edges, ensuring that I believe I've removed as much of the bits as I can as possible, and then I'm happy with the blending and where the waves are, and then knowing when it is time to stop and not overwork it. The edges I'll probably just come round and tidy up before it was on its way to Michael he is going to be having this piece of art for himself which is super exciting to me and I hope when he sees it in person he can really see the depth of the piece and that he can really connect with it. I have been asked before when I've used one of these reclaimed boards do I have any leakage? I taped it all up underneath and not one piece of resin came down so I don't know if that's luck or judgment I've been quite fortunate when been using these reclaimed ones I do think the acrylic painting the two layers of it helps seal a little bit and going for a thin base coat of resin to start with but I hope that you really enjoyed this piece I hope that you find this video relaxing i hope it's inspired you to give it a go and try some resin art if you do let me know what it is that you're working on and michael i hope you love this piece
bloody tastic. So I wanted to share with you this piece that I finished working on last night. I'm super proud of it. It was inspired by an amazing photographer who does a lot of amazing drone work called Michael Haliwani. And uh, I will put his link and his um, business link below so you can take a look at his amazing work. So it was inspired by the shot that he had of his pod of whales that were swimming off the coast of WA and it was a spectacular aqua blue clear sea. Mine's a little bit more movement but I just felt the need I needed that for this piece but look at this depth that I've got with the three whales and the baby. You can just see him deep down and there's mother protecting and father they've just splashed their tails and I just love the movement of these whales and I love the simplicity of this piece and I hope that I've not created too many but I'll take you from the top and work down too much movement in the ocean however there is lots of depth there so when you look underneath you can still see movement of the ocean there and I love this there is a couple of slight imperfections I'm not too sure how that happened there's a tiny little where is it? Black piece here that's caused the resin just to uh, bubble. Well, not bubble, just raise a little bit. You can't see it there. And a couple of minute pieces of dust, but it doesn't detract from the piece. But yeah, thank you, Michael, for your inspiration. And you know, I love working on ocean scenes anyway, but this is just spectacular uh, to look at and just creates so much movement and I believe it's such a happy piece. So I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I know I'd love to know what you think about this piece. Believe it or not, there's three tones, uh, four tones of blue in here. So it's very subtle and gradient, but I did want to keep it as bright and aqua as it is off the coast of WA. But if you like my art, you know the drill. Thumbs up, subscribe, and share and comment because that all helps me and my channel and I'd love to know what you think about this piece and if you've created something like this and I'd love to know if you've gone over and visited Michael's uh, site because he is just amazing he's done some work for so many uh, people and they're just breathtaking and a lot of them are around nature so have the most amazing day and remember relax be true to yourself where you're at and if you've got the opportunity, go take a walk by the ocean.